That's right. We were the first to report that Michael Grundy was under investigation. And now the former assistant Wayne County executive has been indicted for receiving kickbacks and for extortion. Michael Grundy was once the head of Wayne County Health Choice. According to the 25-count federal indictment, Grundy conspired to personally enrich himself and his longtime friend Keith Griffin by bilking Health Choice out of money. The indictment charges that Grundy used his positions with the county and with Health Choice to enrich himself and Griffin by using deception and fear to extort a company that had contracts with Health Choice. The indictment also charges that from about February to October of last year, Grundy extorted $350,000 in a scheme involving county contracts. Grundy allegedly received the payments in $50,000 increments. According to the indictment, the company that made the payments had concerns about the legitimacy of the payments, but made them out of fear that Grundy would use his power to terminate their contracts with the county and force the company out of business. Michael Grundy's attorney, William Swore, released this statement to 7 Action News. He says, quote, Michael Grundy unequivocally denies the allegations in the indictment. He has been a loyal and faithful public servant and has given the citizens of Wayne County 100% value for every dollar paid to him. Mr. Grundy looks forward to defending himself in court where he is confident he will be exonerated. Now, there's no word yet on exactly when Grundy will be turning himself in to be arraigned on these charges, but of course, we'll keep you posted when that gets firmed up. Uh, County Executive Bafacano has all along been saying that the, the buck stops with him. He is ultimately responsible. For all that. What's he saying specifically about the Grundy situation? Well, he just released a statement a short time ago. I will read it to you. He says, quote, I am extremely angry at the betrayal demonstrated by an individual who was in a position of trust if these allegations are true. Mr. Grundy was terminated from the county on November 7th of last year. Based on our own internal review of the situation and our cooperation with the federal investigation, this was not unexpected. Again, if these charges prove true, he should be held accountable and punished to the full extent of the law. We will continue to cooperate fully with federal authorities. So that's the full statement that they released to us a short time ago. All right, Heather, thank you very much.